enjoy seeing that. All right, we are up for our statewide offices. These guys are doing such a good job, we're only two minutes behind schedule. Can you believe it? We are now going to hear from our state tre uh, treasurer candidate, Ron Estes. Ron is currently the treasurer in Wichita of Sedgwick County and is running unopposed on the Republican ticket. Thank you, Kevin. Good afternoon. Is it warm enough for everybody? Yeah. Before I get talk, start talking, I want to introduce my wife. Susan's in the back of the, the tent here. And I guess two of our kids are back there. Brent, our son, and, and our youngest daughter, Grace, is back there as well. And our middle daughter's over manning the tent over here. So if you get a chance, stop by and say hi, and we'll talk to you later on today. But I want to talk a little bit about uh, my background. As Kathy said, I'm currently the Sedgwick County Treasurer, and I was first elected in 2004. Prior to that, I worked in the business world, and I focused on how do we improve customer service, how do we focus on efficiency, how do we improve processes so that we provide the good service to customers. And that's something that's sorely lacking in the governor -y. And that's kind of why I ran for Central County Treasurer, and that's why I want to run for State Treasurer as well. When you look at the Central County Treasurer's Office, one of the things that we focused on is how do we get turnaround of the mail. When, we, uh, when I moved into the office and started working there, the, uh, our mail was actually spending several days because as it came in in volumes, we actually they put it in a cabinet and waited till things slowed down, and then we pushed through that, and and so people would end up coming in to pick up their work and and it wasn't done. So we changed that. Now we turn that around, and every day we turn around the mail. So that's the kind of efficiency that we want people to get, so that when you mail when you do your job, because there are services that you expect from government, and we need to provide that. I want to talk a little bit about the State Treasurer Office and what it does. I'm trying to get you excited. When, when I first announced, a couple of my friends said, well, why are you running? I know why you're running for State Treasurer, because they have less money than the county does, so it's going to be an easier job. <laughs> But in reality, that same kind of mindset is that we need to provide the services to the citizens. The, the State Treasurer has a few main functions. One of them is the cash management, which obviously is important. We need to make sure that the cash coming in, whether it's from sales tax or other fees or taxes, is collected and, and given to the right departments and spent appropriately, as well as having the money invested before it is needed. And, and one of the things that, when I talk about my prior work before I got into government, that's one of the focus areas, is how do we make sure that things are streamlined, that computer systems work right, that we track what's going on, and we make it work well. A couple other things that the, the treasurer's office does is, is provide the administration for the unclaimed funds and provide the administration for the Learning Quest college education program. And both of those are great programs. There are areas where services are provided to the citizens that we actually do what is helpful to the citizens of Kansas. And what we need to do is make sure that we focus on how do we make those offices efficient and we don't look at how do we self-promote the treasurer that's in office in, in terms of talking about the service that we're doing for the citizens. And, and lastly, I want to talk a little bit about one of the things that I want to do as state treasurer. Too, office, too often, it's easy for politicians to talk about what they're going to do during election year and then not do it. And, and as state treasurer, what I can do is I can be an advocate for getting the right things done. Because I'm not going to be the policy setter. I'm going to look more at administration and make things more efficient. I'm not going to be able to make the vote on whether we should raise taxes or lower taxes, or whether we should increase spending in this area or lower it in that area. But what one of the things that the state treasurer does do is he sits on the board of the CAPERS, the Kansas Public Employee Retirement System. And if, if you haven't heard, Marilyn's up here. Uh, she's heard me talk about CAPERS before. <laughs> they're, they're broke. I mean, there was... And I want to be careful in using my words, is that there was a study completed earlier this year that the Kansas public employee system is the second worst in the country in terms of the amount funded. That we're actually funding only 59 cents on the dollar for what we promised our state and local employees. And that's, they can't, that's not sustainable. I mean, granted, we're not going to we're not going to run out of money anytime soon. We've got you know 11 billion dollars in there, but we need 20 billion to fund what we've promised already. So it's not an issue that current retirees or soon-to-be retirees are going to be out of money. But what we do need to make sure is that we come in and focus on how do we get that built back up, how do we make sure that we focus on contributions and what we're paying out, and make sure that we can deliver what we promised to the citizens of Kansas. So 
I want to thank you for the time. I want to ask you for your help. I want to ask you for a vote on November 3rd, and, or no, August 3rd and November 2nd. And, and come by the booth and, and talk and we'll talk some more. Thank you.